Moments ago, the Senate voted to block President Trump's national emergency declaration, preventing him from appropriating funds without the approval of Congress to realize his greatest obsession and build a useless, exorbitantly expensive monument to xenophobia across the southern border. Twelve Republicans crossed the aisle to vote with Democrats to place a check on the president's increasingly authoritarian behavior, resoundingly passing the bill to block the Trump's executive action 5941 and setting up a showdown with Trump, who will be forced to issue his first presidential veto in yet another high-profile and extremely embarrassing political defeat. The president made his course of action clear in a self-explanatory but entirely context-devoid tweet that immediately prompted a hilarious response from the rest of social media I look forward to vetoing the just-passed Democrat-inspired resolution which would open borders while increasing crime, drugs, and trafficking in our country. I thank all of the strong Republicans who voted to support border security and our desperately needed wall. CNN anchor Jake Tapper was one of the first major figures to weigh in on the president's outburst with an amusing little rhyme roses are red. It's not pronounced beto.but we're about to see. of presidential. and was quickly followed by a wave of mockery. I think there's a formal process here, you don't just shout the word.